Yes, Nico from the Silver Screen Dudes is wearing a teal tank top today. It's hot as bulls and it's late. Forgive me. Now that we've got past that awkwardness, hi, should we talk about Inside Out 2? Because goddamn me, this movie's good. Now, it's not quite as good as the first one, but that's only on the basis that the first one w was so revelatory in its execution of being able to deliver the machinations of the human mind as physical personified embodiments. That was a mouthful. Crazy. Absolutely crazy what the first one managed to achieve. And the second one, while never exceeding that originality, it takes that originality and builds on it. And it does so in such a marvellous way. In this one, it's a whole different ball game. Riley is now a teenager. And with being a teenager comes a whole new set of emotions. Emotions like anxiety. Emotions like embarrassment. Ennui. Envy. And it's how... It's how these new emotions come into her being and affect her existing emotions. With the kind of sad sad reality of we kind of just become less joyful as we get older that's the big note that the movie hits on and it hits you right in the feels man now speaking of hitting you in the feels mercifully there is no take her to the moon bing bong scene in this movie that will just break the most hardened of person I was going to say man but person and yeah, it's thankfully doesn't pull your heartstrings like that. But this film has got such a universal truth to it. It's something we all go through. That sense of who we are as a child and then who we become and transform into as a teenager and of course eventually an adult, which is where I imagine Inside Out 3 might go which would be super interesting if they do that. What do we leave behind? What do we lose in ourself? And these are the questions that Inside Out 2 tackles so profoundly well. Now, it doesn't shy away from the comedy, all of the things that go hand in hand with being a teenager, mood swings, smells, bodily changes. It addresses all of these things. And the journey that Riley goes on in this is really quite special because it, it, it's never grandiose, but it's, I keep on saying, utterly relatable. It, it, it's it's nothing th that big. I mean, essentially, she just goes to a, to a hockey camp and, I mean, she makes the, most, the mistake of forsaking her friends for the sake of being part of, of the cool kids and it's her new emotions like anxiety and envy that are pushing her down this route. And... To, to, to look at this movie and say that, well, anxiety is the new emotion, anxiety is the enemy, I think is brutally missing the point of what Inside Out 2 is setting out to do. And w that's in turn where it's such a resounding success because there isn't really an enemy in this film. There's no antagonist. It's kind of the, the inner turmoil within oneself. Um and very deep today and yeah there's a conflict between joy and anxiety that you know the the lead of the old emotions and the lead of the new emotions but anxiety is not a bad emotion in the scope of this movie anxiety is kind of there just to help riley along and thinks that it knows better and once it, it's coming from a good place essentially and the journey that the emotions go on in riley's mind figuring out what creates her sense of self creating things like brainstorms it's just incredible the visionaries at pixar what they've done and that's something i'd like to touch on here as i wrap this up because they are visionaries at pixar i'm gonna make a whole video about this actually because i've been saying it on and off on podcast about how disney's about to have a resurgence after the last two or three years of let's just be real bad i think this is the first of many hugely important milestones having a movie made by pixar back on the big screen 
that is of this quality and that didn't go straight to Disney Plus is such a massive win for the company. And I think it is the start of many things to come. I am going to make a full video about that, but I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> I smell Bob Iger back. I smell Big Papa Iger back in charge and steering the house of mouse back in the direction it should be going. A movie like this should be on the big screen and not on a streaming service. And it should be appreciated by people of all generations, kids and adults alike. And the fact that it's there, the fact that it's as good as it is, the fact that it builds so effortlessly well on what the first movie set out to do is one of my films of the year. And I'm going to be scoring Inside Out to a very deserved whooping 9 out of 10. You could do a lot worse than seeing this movie this year. It's fantastic. And I want to know what you guys thought. Yeah, I'm a bit late. You've probably seen other reviews out there. That's fine. But you're here for me, I hope, in my opinions. And I want to know, what did you think of Inside Out 2? Leave your thoughts in your comments below. Have you seen it? Do you think this is a win for Disney? Let me know all of that goodness down in the comments below. There's a subscribe button right here in another video up here, which is most likely House of the Dragon Episode 2, I would think. If not, there's something else for you guys to enjoy up there. But yeah, keep it right here on the Silver Screen Dudes, and I will see you all very soon. As always, thank you for joining, and thank you for uh, watching little of me and my tank top tonight. Have a good one, guys. Bye for now.